It's always been my dream to be on AGT. Is it the seven of clubs? Simon loved that I mixed magic and ventriloquism. For me, you never want to see the same thing again. You want to see it better or different. After my audition, it was like so many news interviews, three or four interviews a day, which was amazing. And then some of my favorite ventriloquists, Terry Fader and Darcy, posted I did a good job. It was so cool. I feel like my dream of having my own show is closer than ever. Tonight, I am taking Simon's advice and doing something different. We have to do something they've never seen before. You know, Terry and Darcy sing, and I'm not as good as them, I feel like. Also, I just want to be my own self. So I am doing something for lives I've never done before. And hopefully the reveal is crazy. I'm also adding audience elements, judge elements, more comedic elements, a bunch of props. I'm used to small theaters, so this is my biggest performance ever. The fact that it's also live is like, whoa. <laughs>I like to hear. I thought you might be a little sad after your breakup. I am so old with that guy. He hit the road? No, he got hit on the road. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little skunk humor. He's fine. Well, that's good. Anyway, since you helped me discover my magical powers, I thought I'd use them to help you. So tonight, we're not only going to get into the mind of one of the judges, but the entire audience as well. And we're... Yeah. And we're gonna find you a new boyfriend. Oh, great. You're gonna pull a bachelor out of the hat and it gets better. I thought Heidi could help us. Heidi, is that okay? Yes. How can I help? <laughs> so, next to me is a binder full of photos of eligible bachelors. Now, Heidi, we all know compatibility isn't about looks. That's why you'll be choosing Penelope's date based on his favorite hobby. Heidi, you have a free choice. As I flip through the binder, you tell me when to stop. Okay. No pressure, Heidi. Just my life here. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> what do you got there? How about a Lamborghini collector? Heidi? Mm, I don't care about cars as long oh, as they get I you there. I love Italian food. <laughs> Lamborghini is a car. I dodge cars. All right, let's see. You missed out on... A bat who collects Lamborghinis. Hmm. Okay, maybe a beach lover. Heidi? Mm, I've been on the beach for quite some weeks now. Mm, I'm ready for something next. You probably are too, right? No, let's see what else you got. Whales and sharks? Or it looks like this fox likes the beach. He's even got sunglasses. Okay, maybe a poetry writer. Heidi? Mm, nah. Totally on strike. Do you have one more? Let's Was see. Was that it? A Ooh. turtle who writes poetry. All right, how about a world traveler? Heidi? I say yes to that. <laughs> world traveler, I say yes to that. All right, let's see who Heidi picked. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, what? He's Cute. perfect. Yes, I know that. He's a lovebird. Now, Heidi oh, could have okay. picked a duck or... A platypus, but no, she picked the bird. And now we're gonna meet him. Seriously, he's here? How? I'm a magician and mentalist, remember? Out of all of, out of the dozens of options that, of, that Heidi could have picked, I knew she would pick the bird. And now I'm gonna make him a fear. Are you ready? Yes. Except he's real. The real deal. <laughs> Want to share my frequent flyer miles? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, love is like magic. And tonight, the audience will contribute to that magic. Heidi, not yes. only did I make a connection with you, but I promised to create one with the audience. Everyone, please hold up your papers and show America that love connection. Thank you, AGT, for helping me find her love. 